The security is paramount to uh, everything that we're doing here with the Internet of Things. Um, our processors are now all tamper-proof processors that we're putting into our products. That stops malicious people from getting access to the equipment and somehow learning what's going on. Uh, we're using secure boot so that our software is digitally signed and other people can't just upgrade our products with their rogue code. Um, we're using um, secure elements now in our products so that our network partners and our application um, um, platform partners can know that they're connected to the equipment that they think that they're connected to. And here we have uh, the X dot. Uh, this is our second generation LoRaWAN module and it has a tamper-proof processor on it and it also has a secure element from a, another member of the LoRa Alliance here, Gem Auto. So the keys for the network and the application are uh, securely stored inside the secure execution environment and the AES-128 algorithm that's used to do the encryption at LoRaWAN is running inside a secure execution environment inside that secure element. So no man in the middle attack and you, can, you know for sure that you're connected to this device. We had a hackathon yesterday. It's the first hackathon that the LoRa Alliance has uh, done. Uh, we've done a few of these um, in some other environments and, you know, they, they tend to bubble up all manner of great ideas. And so we thought that this would be pretty cool to bring to the LoRa Alliance. Uh, we imagine, because we're based here in Santa Clara, that a lot of these developers would be from uh, academic environments or they would have come from the maker community that's very vibrant around here. Um, and that we would see, you know, some some cool things. But what we actually saw was a really good cross section of uh, of the country here. We had people coming in from Massachusetts, uh, down in Florida, uh, middle of the country, um, all coming in for this uh, hackathon. Uh, most all of them were non-members, and I think that really shows uh, the interest in what the Laura Alliance and Laura Wan uh, has has ignited out there. This is our conduit gateway, or at least the version that is ideally suited for industrial facilities and uh, inside exhibition centres like this, or for hackers to use um, um, to be able to get access back to the network server. Um, it has a eight channel LoRa concentrator card which plugs directly into the back of the unit and it supports 868 meg for Europe, uh, 915 for out here in the States and North America and also does um, a few other different variants of ISM bands for uh, Australia, New Zealand and uh, uh, China um, band as well that, that we're uh, sampling this month. So, so this is the MDOT box and uh, we've been getting quite a lot of exciting uh, feedback off of this because it's a site survey tool. You can put this in your hand, connect to the uh, network through the gateway, walk around a building or an agricultural environment, drive around uh, a uh, facility or a, a rural environment and measure your RSSI and what spreading factors you're using and what your signal to noise ratio is and plot that over Google Maps so you have a really great visual um, um, dashboard, if you like, of everywhere you've been and the kind of signal quality that you've got. We've worked very openly with, uh, with most of the, the founding members and, and, and the members of the Alliance. So our gateway, our conduit gateway, for example, connects through to Actility, which has been a good partner for us uh, with some of the build outs in Europe. Uh, also connects through to other great partners that we've been working with, like uh, Orbiwise and Senate, Laureate, for example, um, the Things Network, who we did the hackathon with today. Um, and a number of other um, network serv server companies, which is great because our customers can get the gateway, plug it in, and they've got connectivity through to the network. Um, we also put ARM embed on our modules, which makes it very open and very easy for um, developers who don't know much about LoRa to be able to really create some cool end devices. We have two customers, 
um, who both have a very similar business model. They do industrial cleaning for the food and beverage uh, industry. So you can imagine Coca-Cola, milk, wine, beer, all manner of um, food and beverages like that being mixed up and, um, and, and created uh, in, in a production type environment. Now typically they sold equipment and they sold cr uh, cleaning solutions. Um, detergents and the like and that would be their business model the equipment and the detergents that they sell every week every month and by using LoRaWAN and being able to uh, monitor and automate the uh, process uh, remotely they can see um, the time it's taken to do the cleaning how frequently that's happened and where they are with the level of uh, chemicals in stock in, in, in the building um, or the facility and so uh, this enables them to change that business model, change it to a model where instead of just selling detergent they're selling um, how quick and efficiently uh, they're doing that cleaning. So once again we see the Internet of Things move into a model which is more service driven rather than I buy stuff I, I pay per, per use, per service. LoRaWAN has become a very important part of our portfolio over the last couple of years. Um, we started developing this about two, two and a half years ago. We now have a portfolio of modules and gateways and tools to, to help do a quick deployment of LoRaWAN. And, and it's been very important for our customers because they've been able to connect assets that they really couldn't connect before. And so LoRaWAN has really helped um, bring that together. It's bi-directional, which is great for controlling and monitoring uh, assets. It's um, uh, cost effective to deploy, uh, battery consumption is real good and more importantly it's here today. It's here. There's 15 plus operators deployed and a whole boatload of enterprise companies that have deployed around this technology and, and have design wins. Um, whereas when we look at other technologies in licensed band spectrum, it may be a couple of years before we really see that commercially deployed. And industry, it can't wait. It needs that connectivity now.